the Raiders making waves as they put together an interesting roster to say the least. Richie Incognito out of football for all of 2018. He's had multiple incidents off the field. There have been times where he engages in behavior that calls into question deeper issues that that you know have required and, and he's been open about this treatment and and uh, and care for possible mental health issues and we're very sensitive to that here and it's something that's unfairly stigmatized in today's society but he is embraced by the Raiders he is back he is in the fall now he's still got to make it onto the 53-man roster but he's getting a chance and here's Mike Mayock the GM of the Raiders when he was asked about Richie Incognito's history of off-field off misbehavior at the end of the day um, you can't have all Boy Scouts. And, and what you have to do is you have to do your homework on each individual case. And we've done our homework. We've talked to an awful lot of people. We brought him in. We talked to Richie. We told Richie what we'd expect both on and off the field. And, and we expect him to adhere to that. You know, I, I, I get it. I mean, sometimes you do your homework and your homework isn't very good, right? I, I don't know what they're expecting here. They're bringing him in on apparently a one-strike arrangement but you have to ask yourself does he even deserve that this is chance number three at a minimum for incognito who was out of football after the stuff in miami he went to buffalo things fell apart there he had the incident off the field last year ultimately pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and no one wanted him i i, I just i don't know you know we, we say all the time that the guys who are really talented get the second chances is yeah. incognito good enough that he even deserves the raiders sticking their neck out on the line for him like this yeah I'll, I'll, that, that's the real question you're right it's borderline whether he's worth that you're right sticking his, their neck out on the line and maybe having to deal with some of the risk that comes along with signing a richie incognito now uh i'll say this mike richie incognito is he's a very good football player i mean yeah he was one of the better guards in football i'm not going to say he was a top five guard guard in football when he left uh, or his last year at Buffalo, but he wasn't far away from being that top five guard in football. All right, so this is the first thing that jumps out to me, Mike. Just I, from the pure football standpoint, doesn't make sense to me there. Richie Incognito is not a zone blocking type of guard, right, Mike? Tom Cable there, the offensive line coach, he is a zone blocking type of offensive line coach, and that's what they did in Seattle when he was there. Richie Incognito is more of a man-to-man -man blocking type guy, pulling guard blocking down traps things like that so just right off the bat I thought it was a little weird as far as the scheme fit two I thought of the things that you did off the field at a minimum three strikes at this point right I mean to what he's had I mean really I think if we really looked at it we could go ah, there's more than three here and I don't know if there's anybody really playing in football right now that has maybe the the checkered past as Richie Incognito is that's where I would challenge it and that's where it's a little risky for the Raiders yeah, I agree with you completely. And you know what? It could just be they want to have the benefit of his attitude, of that in-your-face kind of intimidation, maybe just for training camp in the preseason. Maybe he doesn't even make the 53-man roster, but having him around toughens up some of the other linemen. But Mike, I think that's a really valid point, and I think that's what Mike Mayock's trying to say is, you know, you can't have a bunch of choir boys. And, you know, as you know, I played for John Gruden, and that is, that's one of his themes. you gotta, you got to have a little edge in the locker room. You have too many nice guys, too many – yes this yes that uh and everything else uh, yeah usually you don't have a good football team you look at the really good football teams there's usually an edginess about them and there's a few players that can bring that out within the locker room and I think that's what they're looking for for an incognito they got some young offensive linemen they're probably trying to show them hey this is what a real tough SOB offensive lineman acts like on a day-to-day -day basis set the attitude for the offensive line and I would imagine that is certainly part of the uh reason why they signed him Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.